picked up the one they call animal, sir. Full speed ahead, men. We're going after him. Aye, aye, sir. I know you're here somewhere, animal. Aha. Oh, boy. Come on, animal. You know the rules. If I touch you, you're it. Now, no funny business. China. How do you figure? We were here first, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh gee. I didn't think of that. Okay. Back in the boat, man. Wait a second. The great common sister meeting all visitors. 
house. Besides, we can use your help. Hey, hey, this exploring business isn't all that it's cracked up to be. You can say that again. Ha <laughs> ha! 
being able to do it. animals work. What do you think, Rolf? Well, Colonel, we'll have to leave that final decision up to our resident explorer expert, Nanny Garagiola. So, Nanny, who did win this race? Well, Rolf, I think all these explorers are the winners. Yeah? Why, sure, because before the discovery race started, the people over here didn't even know that the people over here and here and here existed. And that's how they figured out the world looks like this. Right, Nanny? That's right, Ralph. So, um, everything's been discovered, huh, Nanny? Oh, no, Kermit, not everything. Just the Fountain of Youth. Huh? Potts de Leon spent years looking for that, and he never did find it. Oh, my, I almost forgot. I have a special surprise cookie for you kids. Oh, I hope it's a soggy and liverwurst peppermint moss on sandwich. I never did find that tree. Oh, yeah, Banjo. Hey, I've got an idea. I bet we could have found the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Sure, I, I guess so. There. Isn't that better? 
But four pork chops and wallaby squash and grumble scare and toddler tear and Nick Tunes in a row on Doug Rocco, all oh, real monsters and rugrats. This ought to be good. So don't miss two straight hours of Nick Tunes huh? today and every Saturday evening at 6, 5 Central, only on Nick. Now stay tuned for Beetlejuice. Next on Nick. Bye-bye. <laughs> 